Hello everyone and welcome to It Beats, As It Sweeps, As It Cleans. Sorry about that. Um, today we've got a little video for you. Well, I say we, I'm the only one here. I'm, I'm using the royal we. Anyway, we have got for you a little bit of a comparison. A versus video, if you will. I don't normally do versus videos, but I thought I may as well I've got nothing else to do with my life, so why not get some muck down and test out two Dysons? So, you've heard of the Clash of the Titans, this is the Clash of the Dysons! Yes, I'm going to test my DC35 Digital Slim against my new Dyson V6. Now, I'm pretty sure, spoiler alert, I'm pretty sure the V6 will do a lot better than the DC35. But, you know, we're going to see if that is the case. I think it will be. So, just below my feet, I've put a load of dog hair. So we're going to first test both these cleaners on pet hair pickup. And then I'm going to see how well they perform on general dirt. And then it's into the kitchen to see how well they clean hard floors. So if you've got one of the old, if you've still got one that works, an old DC35, and you're thinking, shall I upgrade? Well, this video may help you make your mind up. Okay, without any further ado, let's test both these cleaners on pet hair. Okay, so as you can see in front of me, I've got a lot of pet hair recently harvested from my Dachshund Daisy. This is fresh off her back. You can't get any fresher than this. So, this is the DC35 cleaner head, and this is the newer Dyson V6 cleaner head. Now, because this pet hair is very tenacious, and it sticks to the carpet like a limpet, I'm going to use max mode for the demonstration, because if you did have such a, a large amount of pet hair, say you've groomed your dog, or you've groomed yourself, you've cut your husband's hair or whatever, you've shaved his back and you need to clean up, what are you going to use? So I'm going to use maximum and I'm going to try, this is not uh, obviously a scientific test, I'll try and keep them going at the same pace but I'm going to use both these cleaners at the same time. Okay, I'll just one forward and one backward pass. Actually, the DC35 has done better than I expected it to, but not quite as good as the V6. I'm not sure if it picks up on camera. Actually, you can see just here where the DC35 has left a bit. But if we look at the path where we've had the V6, that is much, much cleaner. Let's just go over the area again, but a bit quicker. Again, the V6 has picked up a little bit more of the hair. It might have left a little bit, but there's still some here that I can see. Might not be so easy to see on camera, but from my vantage point, especially here, there is a bit. And if we look underneath, yes, underneath, this is the DC35 nozzle. You can see there's quite a lot of pet hair around that. Let's see if the DC, oh, sorry, the V6 has done any better. Hmm, let's turn it on. Yeah, there is, there is pet hair wrapped around that as well, so both of them you will need to clean the brush after cleaning up such a large quantity of pet hair. Now actually what I've noticed is Yes, the V6 is considerably lighter, or well, it feels lighter in the hand, than the old DC35. Okay, let's, let's go this way. I'm still on maximum power. Hmm. 
And yes, again, it's done quite well as the VC35, but the V6 in the pet tear tests has certainly beaten the DC35. Okay, well, I might as well use the winner to clean up the rest of the pet hair. No, you're not looking at the surface of the moon. You're looking at every housewife or house husband's worst nightmare. A load of dirt covering the carpet. We can't see the carpet because there's so much dirt down. So again, I'm going to pass both Dysons over this dirt and we'll compare the results. But in this occasion, I'm going to use regular power, which gives about 20 minutes of usage and it's about six minutes when you're using max but I'm going to see how they both perform on the regular setting and then we'll switch to the max setting and see if it manages to pick up any more. In my previous demos I have found that both these cleaners do quite well on this type of dirt so it's a very um, varied mixture of dirt. There's dust, there's dog hairs, there's bits of paper, bits of rice, uh, rolled oats all sorts. Okay. Again, let's see if we can create two nice clean stripes in the middle of this mess. Well, both for a cordless cleaner have done very well. But I can see, and hopefully you can see on the screen, that, predictably, the DC35 hasn't done quite so well as the V6 model. It's a bit hard to pick up, but there's definitely a darker area of carpet here where it hasn't removed some of the dust. But the V6 side is very good, much, much cleaner. OK, let's pass the nozzles again over the same areas. But this time, I'm going to use max mode. Well, it hasn't really made much of a difference. I think it's probably picked up a little bit more dirt, but I can still see there is a darker area here. Hopefully that's not a stain on the carpet. We'll soon find out because now I'm going to pass the V6 over the area where the DC35 is cleaned. Oh, well, <laughs> there's still a slightly, slightly dark mark, but that could be a mark on my carpet. I'll have to get the shampoo out. Let's just go over that quick area. Or quickly go over that area, should I say. Oh dear. I'm so ashamed. That probably is a dirty mark on the carpet because I've been over it a few times with the V6 and it's not picked it up, so. Time to get the Bissell out, I think. Okay, let's, let's do the same as we did with the pet hair, and we'll go crisscross over this. Okie dokie. I think they're both on maximum. I'd best just check. Yes, they're both on max mode. Okay, one, two, three, let's go. There we go, what a pretty pattern. We don't want a pretty pattern though, we want a clean carpet, don't we?
Well, here we have another horrific sight on my kitchen floor. I was uh, attempting to make some lovely flapjacks and everything went awry. I, I did put the lid on the food processor and this is the result. So on the floor, we've got some flour and some rolled oats. The flour represents the finer particles, one of the finest particle a vacuum cleaner will have to deal with in the average home. That or talcum powder. I suggest if you use talcum powder though, you stop using it. It's not good for you at all. But flour is okay. So I've got flour and rolled oats because rolled oats are a larger particle, which some vacuum cleaners have problems with. Before I go, I'd just like to say that this is a vinyl floor and it's not actually stuck down everywhere. They just fit it and they tend to just be stuck down around the edge. So what I've found with a lot of vacuum cleaners, because of the powerful suction, they tend to pull the floor up, which does affect the results, especially the large particles. Okay, without any further ado, you, you don't want to hear me nattering on, let's get cleaning. Now, surprisingly, in this case, and that is a shocker, in this case, the DC35, for some reason, has done slightly better. Now, they've both done very well on the flower, but where the V6 has done worse than the DC35 is in the larger particles. Just off camera, I don't know if you can see, no, you can't, but just off camera, there is a little line of rolled oats that the Dyson V6 has pushed along instead of picking them up. So that is surprising. Okay, as in the living room, let's go over this way, try and get far back. All right, let's go over again. Mmm, and again, apart from leaving quite a nice pattern, again the V6 has snow ploughed. So all in all, the V6 does a better job on carpets than the DC35, but in my instance, the DC35 has done a better job on hard floors. Okay, I've got the V6, let's try and pick up the rest of this muck. Now, as you can see, it's not picking everything up, but the downfall is because the V6 does have more suction power than the DC35. I can feel it sucking the floor up to the nozzle, which will probably explain why it's leaving the larger particles. So anyway, I'm pre pretty, pretty pleased with the DC35. Let's just lie the DC, sorry, the V6 down behind me and pick up the rest of this using the DC35. Well, that's just about the end of my comparison video between the Dyson DC35 and the V6 cordless cleaners. Which is best? Well, the V6 does slightly pip the older DC35 to the post, but it didn't do as well as I was expecting it to, considering it's one of the later models. The DC35 seemed to do a better job on my kitchen floor than the V6, but of course your kitchen floor may be different and results can vary but in my experience the DC35 just did slightly better especially picking up the larger particles. The V6 certainly has more oomph to use a technical term on carpets you could actually hear the brush bar rotating and uh, agitating the fibres so it is certainly better and it did a better job on pet hair as well. So. 
One other thing to mention, I did empty these cleaners in between the demonstrations and I did find that the DC35 emptied a lot cleaner than the V6. I had to take the V6 bin off because, especially in the case of the pet hairs, the pet hairs got trapped around the shroud on this cleaner. They didn't on the DC35. Dyson have redesigned the shroud slightly. It's more of a very fine mesh that they have in the middle of their cleaners now, their cordless cleaners. Whereas you can see, if you can just see through the flower on the older version, it is a more, just more coarse holes in the plastic. There isn't a, a fine mesh over that. So it did mean it was slightly cleaner to empty the DC35. So if you've got an older Dyson stick and want to upgrade, and especially if you've got pets, it's probably worth going for. If of course you want the very latest Dyson cleaner, you can look at the new V8 models, but they are very expensive. Your top model, you're talking 500 pounds at the time of making this video. Uh, for me, 500 pounds for a rechargeable stick vacuum cleaner is rather a lot of money. I'm sure it's very good. And also, the V6 have done away with the problem of the dirt collecting around the shroud. It has a new bin emptying feature, which means that the shroud is actually wiped clean every time you empty the bin. The mechanism comes down and dislodges any dirt that might have trapped itself around the shroud. So, is it worth paying all that extra? It's up to you. If you can afford it, then a V8 is probably the best cordless Dyson you can buy at the moment until of course they bring out a new and improved model. I hope you found this video interesting. If you liked it please thumb up, don't forget to subscribe and please check my back catalogue. I've well over a 500, I was going to say a thousand, not quite, well over 500 videos on other vacuum cleaners, carpet washers and floor care appliances. So until the next time, thanks for watching and I'll see you soon.